So, wrestling fans, this is what we got to talk about today. I was scouring Twitter and I came across this article. So one of the all-time greats himself, The Undertaker, was asked in an interview if he would put Roman Reigns in the same category as the Stone Cold Steve Austins and the Hulk Hogan's. That is a very tough question to answer, and he said it himself. It's subjective. Now, here's the thing. Is, is he in the same conversation as those guys? But it depends. What categories were you talking about? Are you talking about wrestling skill? Are you talking about longevity? Are you talking about popularity? But I think for you to reach that level of that kind of star power, you have to transcend wrestling, meaning that you got to be a household name outside of the WWE, like a Stone Cold, like a Hulk Hogan, like a John Cena, like a Rock, something of that level. But whether you love or dislike Roman Reigns, he does have the criteria. He's been on the main roster for over a decade. He's won the Royal Rumble, multiple world title runs, a few classic feuds, and He's been part of two of the most dominant factions and stables in recent history, those being the Shield and the Bloodline. So if you want to entertain Roman Reigns being in the conversation with the greats, I'm not mad at you. But at the same time, if you put him in probably, let's, let's just say you go ahead and say if you put him in your top 10, you probably were born after 2005. Now, The Undertaker, as I mentioned in a video before, that Undertaker, he is in my top five. Stone Cold is probably my number one favorite of all time. And Hulk Hogan, I would put him anywhere between 7 and 10. But then again, that's just my personal preference too. Now, Roman Reigns does have the accolades, no doubt. But if you were to ask me where I would place him among the all-time greats, let's just say from number 1 to number 20, he would probably be about number 16, number 17 to me. But my only other question is, is if you were to put Roman Reigns in your top 10, top 15, who would you take off or who would you replace him with? Anyway, stitch this and tell me what you guys think. Does Roman Reigns belong in the name of the great? Does he belong in the top five, top 10, top 15? Let me know what you guys think.